Calvary, Amber here, and today we're looking at Psalm 57. And I was reading the Psalms a couple nights ago when I was holding my four-year-old daughter who was really sick and had a really high fever. And God comforted me and gave me peace through reading this Psalm. So I want to read it to you and look at why I had such peace reading it. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me, for in you my soul takes refuge. In the shadow of your wings I will take refuge, till the storms of destruction pass by. I cry out to God most high, to God who fulfills his purpose for me. He will send from heaven and save me. He will put to shame him who tramples on me. God will send out his steadfast love and his faithfulness. See, this was so comforting because in the storms of life, we can run to God and find mercy and his love and peace. And he can be our refuge and we can have relief from the storms of life. We can cry out to God and he hears us and he answers us. And it says that he will save us and send to us his love and his faithfulness, no matter what is going on. See, David wrote this psalm as someone was trying to kill him. God had said that David was going to be the next king. And Saul did not like that. And so he was trying to destroy David. And so he wrote this psalm, crying out to God, asking for help. See, David's storm in life was probably different than you and I face. Hopefully no one is trying to kill you. Um, but we all have storms in life, whether that's holding a sick child, crying out to God to heal them, or maybe it's your own health issues that you're struggling with. Or maybe you're having marital problems or other relational issues or financial issues. Or maybe you just feel overwhelmed in life and don't know what to do. But no matter what storm you are facing, know that God is with you and he loves you and wants to give you mercy and that you can run to him and find your refuge in him. So what does that look like to take refuge in God? Well, first of all, you have to cry out to him. Take him all your fear and your worry and your anxiety, the problems that you're facing, and talk to him about it. You can tell him how you're feeling, what problems you're facing, what's going on, and he wants to hear from you. He wants to have a relationship with you. You can literally cry to him, cry out to him, talk to him about what's going on. And then secondly, if you want to hear from him, then you have to read the Bible. This is God's word to us. This is how he speaks to us. These are God's words written so that we could hear from him and read the Psalms. These are prayers written to God. And if you read enough of them, you're going to start relating to them because it's all situations of life. And so cry out to God, read the Bible. And then lastly, do what David did. He makes this statement two times in this psalm and he closes the psalm like this be exalted O god above all heavens let your glory be over all the earth see even in the midst of the storm of destruction that david was facing someone trying to kill him he chose to praise god and worship him and see there is something powerful when we choose to praise god and worship him and recognize his glory and majesty. Um, see, most of the Psalms end in a praise like this, worshiping God, because they know even in the midst of sorrow and despair that there's power in praising God and worshiping him because it takes the focus off us and off the problems that we're facing and then puts the focus on God who is our savior and our king. So no matter what storm you're facing right now, I pray that you remember that God loves you and that he is with you and that he wants to show you mercy. And I pray that you choose to worship and glorify him and that you choose to take refuge in God. Have a great day, Calvary.